Amazon got it wrong, how to build a remote team. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and to build custom software solutions. So I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. Now, Amazon is forcing its employees back into the office five days a week, and trust me, they've got it all wrong. In today's videos, I'll break down why this is a bad move and how you can build a better remote team that fosters innovation engagement, and real results. So let's dive in. So let's briefly address Amazon's latest move. According to a recent report from USA Today, Amazon's CEO has mandated that employees return to the office five days a week. So the official reason, they're claiming it's about fostering innovation and collaboration. But let me tell you, their employees aren't buying it. So if you head over to Reddit, you'll see post after post from frustrated Amazon workers who say all they do is show up to sit on video calls with coworkers on the next floor. If Amazon's CEO would take a minute and listen, he'd know that forcing people back into the office is not the way to spark creativity. So what should Amazon do instead. So this is really where you dive in and build a great innovative environment. And to build an innovative environment, communication is key. In a remote environment, over communication is essential. You can't rely on casual office interaction anymore. So set up regular check-ins and make sure your team knows that you're there to support them. Don't hesitate to reach out. It takes effort to stay connected in a remote world. Now, one of the big things that I tell my developers all the time who work in a remote environment is turn your camera on. So seriously, so much of communication is non-verbal. If you're only relying on emails or voice chats, you're missing a huge part of the conversation. Turn on your camera during meetings and this helps to foster connection and trust. It's a simple tip, but it makes a huge difference. Now next, trust in your team. In a remote environment, micromanagement is the kiss of death. Instead, empower your team by trusting them to get the work done without constantly checking in. When people feel trusted, they're more likely to take ownership of their tasks and their results. Now next, flexibility matters. One of the biggest advantages of remote work is giving your team the freedom to work when they're most productive. Not every Everyone works the best at the same time, and that's okay. You can still set core hours so the team can collaborate, allow flexibility, and this allows for more balance and productive team. It also allows people to work when they have extra time here and there. Whereas if you demand in the office, that's the only time you'll ever see them and the only work that you'll get done. And if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out and check out here at Startup Pack. Our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work like a well-oiled machine. So check out startuppack.com slash Spencer, and we can help you out. So productivity can thrive remotely. Despite Amazon's concerns, studies show that remote workers are often more productive. Without the distraction of an office, people can focus on deep work, which leads to better outcomes. Amazon's rigid policy is stifling the very thing it claims to want, productivity. Engagement is key. Just because your team is remote doesn't mean they should feel isolated. Foster engagement by holding regular meetings, creating virtual team building events, and keeping the company culture alive online. It takes effort, but it pays off in the end. The other thing is that career development in a remote setting is crucial. Just because your team isn't in the same physical space doesn't mean growth should be ignored. Regular one-on-ones, mentorship programs, and learning opportunities are even more vital in a remote setting to ensure your team feels supported. So retention is linked to flexibility. If Amazon continues with their rigid RTO policy, they're going to lose top talent. Employees who feel trusted and valued in a flexible remote environment are far more likely to stay with the company long-term. With hiring costs at an all-time high, retention is critical. Remote work encourages diversity. You're not just limited by geography when you're hiring remote. This opens the door to a more diverse workforce with people from different cultures and backgrounds and gender and experiences contributing to your team. Diversity can lead to more creative problem solving and innovation. And if your company has disconnected systems, hit us up here at Startup Pack because we love to work with companies to help build custom software solutions. So check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, there's a lot of cost savings in remote and cost savings are a win for everyone. Employees save on commuting, lunch, and other office expenses while companies save on office space and utilities. These savings can be reinvested into more meaningful areas such as team development or product innovation, or I don't know, maybe salaries for your employees. Now also, mental health and work-life balances are key benefits for remote work. Remote environments allow employees to manage their personal responsibilities without sacrificing work, reducing stress, and improving overall job satisfaction. So I believe the future is in remote work. Amazon and companies like it need to wake up to the fact that remote work isn't a passing trend. Companies that embrace it will attract top talent and remain competitive in the digital age. The ones that stick to outdated policies, they'll be left behind. 
So to wrap it up, Amazon's return to office policy is stuck in the past. Building a strong remote team requires communication, trust, and flexibility. Innovation doesn't come from forcing people into a cubicle. It comes from giving them the tools and freedom to thrive. Whether you're a large company or a small startup, remote work is here to stay and it can drive your success. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love having a great discussion. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding bootcamp, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. Check out startuphack.com or startuphack.com slash Spencer today, and we'll catch you guys next time.